Well, George, a very warm welcome to the club. How did this move come about? Um, came about probably about a month ago, to be honest. I'd heard, obviously, of the interest um, from, from Portsmouth, and it was just a case of, of me meeting the manager. Um, he came up to Sheffield, met him, met him in Sheffield, and, and obviously really liked what I heard. It's everything about the club and, and everything like that. It was speaking to the manager. It was, you know, I had a little bit of a decision to make. Um, regarding other clubs, but then I looked, I looked back at the, at the chat we had and and the way what he's trying to do with with Portsmouth, and it was a bit of a no-brainer for me, really. In terms of football pedigree, I'm sure you'll have learnt a lot from your dad, who had a fantastic career at Sheffield Wednesday. Yeah, no, it is. He's like I say, he's he's perfect. You know, at home he's the first person I ring after a game, and like I said to a lot of people, when when I've when I've had a good game and he tells me I've played all right, it's it's that's about as good as it gets from him because he's you know he keeps me grounded and he's the first person who will tell me what I'm doing right, but at the same time he'll, he'll let me know what I'm doing wrong, you know. So he's a good person to have at home. I can just I can reflect on games with him and and you know just try and pick up little things from him, which obviously he's he played at the top level for a number of years and and um, to have someone like that on your doorstep is is valuable. Yeah, and you started off at Sheffield Wednesday as well. You then had a brief stint in Belgium. Just tell us about that. It must have been a sort of really unique experience. Yeah, it was interesting actually. It was um, it was it was a nice experience. It was it was the first time I'd moved away from home um, and to go and do it in in a place like Belgium, where it, it was actually quite a nice place to live. Um, I learned a lot about myself as as a person, um, definitely as a player, what it takes to you know play in the men's game because it was my first first real taste of men's football. Um, and overall, it was it was it was a great experience for me to to just like I say learn learn more about myself than anything. And then when you came back to England to join Leicester City, yeah. that must have been a, a no brainer in itself to to join a club as big as that. Yeah, of course. I mean, when it when I was here, heard of, of heard of the interest and in, and I ended up joining Leicester, it was probably one of the proudest moments of my life. You know, because obviously when you're younger, you you aspire to be aspire to be in the Premier League and. Um, sort of when you sign that contract and you sort of sign for that Premier League club it was almost it's a sense of not a sense of relief but you know the work you've been putting in for the years since you were younger you know help from your parents stuff like that it sort of feels like it's all sort of starting to pay off a little bit and um, so on that side of it it was yeah it was amazing. Yeah and, and you've played in the Premier League as well which in itself must be another really proud moment. Yeah of course you know I made my made my debut um, in the restart after Covid um, against Spurs and then and then played another another game, final game of the season against Manchester United, I came off the bench. So for me, it was, it was you know, I played in the Premier League and that's, for me, that was, that was always the dream and that was always the aim. Um, I don't think I'm done there. I think I can, I can definitely get back there one day, but, but for now it's, it's about coming to, coming to Portsmouth and, and trying to get Portsmouth back where they belong, to be fair. Yeah, and you, you've had a season in the Championship as well. Just tell us about that, because that's obviously where, where this club wants to get to. So what's the, what's the level like? Yeah, no, it's tough. It is tough. You know, there's, when, when people talk about the Championship being one of the hardest leagues in the world, I, I really do believe that because um, you don't really have your sort of your big six and, and stuff like that. It's anyone can beat anybody on, on any given day, really. Um, so on that side of it, it's, it's quite tough. It's relentless. But then again, League, league One is the same. And, you know, if I can, if I can come in the building and, and help Portsmouth get, get to the Championship, which is obviously the next step for, for this club, um, then it'll, it'll be a success for both parties. For yourself as a player, you're a forward by trade. What, yeah. what sort of role is it that you like to play in the team? Um, ultimately score goals. Um, that's, that's why I've come here. Um, I know what my strengths are, um, you know, running behind and, and, and running at people with the ball. Um, and the more opportunities I can get in this season to do that, and then I think I really can have an impact on this team. Um, and speaking to the gaffer, I know, I, I know he agrees. Um, so for me, it's sort of the way I play and, and the way the gaffer wants to play with the players he's got here already, which trained this morning and you know a lot of really good players here already. I was I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it just it feels like a really good fit. You mentioned that League One's a bit relentless. How do yeah. you feel about going straight into it on Saturday with the trip to Fleetwood? Yeah, good to go. Good to go. You know, it's it's this is what you do all the hard running and the horrible stuff in pre-season for to, to you know build up to that first game and. Once that first game is, is underway, then it's it, it's sort of a lot easier from then. Really, it's the, before that it's, is is the hard stuff. Like I say, is the nasty stuff. Um, but once the first game starts, you you're in game mode then, and it's it's that's it. You've got ten months of work um, to try and try and finish as high as you possibly can, and 
Um, and I, I really do believe that we can we can get right up there.